So when we look at an income statement, we'll often see several measures of profitability. Um, often we'll see gross profit, operating profit, EBIT, profit before tax, net profit, and so on. On the Hasbro P&L here, we see operating profit and net earnings as profitability measures. One of the more important measures of profitability when we think about finance is usually never seen on an income statement, and that is net operating profit after tax, or NOPAT. Uh, and NOPAT is essentially the amount of company that a the amount of uh, money, pardon me, that a company will have earned before interest but after tax. Uh, it represents the earnings that a company would have if it had no debt um, and therefore no interest expense. So while it's not usually uh, on an income statement, it is fairly easy to calculate and there are four steps. We're going to go through them. First, we need to find the company's operating profit. Uh, then we need to find the company's income before tax. Uh, and then we can calculate the company's tax rate. And finally, we multiply the operating profit from step one by one minus the tax rate from step three. So let's take a look at how we do that for a real company step by step. This is the income statement for Hasbro, and they are one of the largest toy companies in the world. And we can see in 2018 that they had four and a half billion dollars of revenue and $220 million in net income. We can also see that they had $90 million in interest expense, so we know that they had debt in this year and they were paying interest on it. The question is, what would they, ha what would they have earned if they have had no debt? Uh, in other words, what is the operating profit after tax uh, or no PAT? So step one. The first thing we need to do is find the company's operating profit. And this is sometimes called operating income, operating profit, income from operations. And for Hasbro, it's actually fairly easy because it's given to us. We can see it clearly labeled here as operating profit, and it's $331 million in 2018. Now, if it wasn't given, and it usually is, uh, but we could easily calculate it. Uh, and it's simply revenue minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses, but do not deduct interest. Uh, do not deduct non-operating expenses and don't take out tax. So you just take out all the operating expenses and cost of sales and you can arrive at the same number. The second step is to find the company's income before tax. Uh, this is sometimes called profit before tax, earnings before tax, uh, or sometimes it's abbreviated as PBT or EBT. Hasbro, again, makes it easy for us, uh, as it's clearly labeled here as earnings before income taxes, and it's $270.4 million in 2018. If it's not given, uh, and it usually is, it's fairly easy to calculate, so it's simply uh, net income plus tax, and in Hasbro's case, we could have added the tax expense of $49 million to net income of $220.4 million to arrive at the same value. Uh, for income before taxes of $270.4 million. Now, the third step is to calculate the company's tax rate. If we divide the tax expense by the income before tax, we can derive the effective tax rate for Hasbro. The tax rate is equal to tax expense divided by income before tax. For Hasbro, the tax rate is that the tax rate is 49.9 million divided by 270.4, or 18.5%. Uh, and finally, we have um, all the values that we need to calculate NOPAT, or net operating profit after tax. Now, the formula for that, again, is operating profit multiplied by one minus the tax rate. So in Hasbro's case, we decided that the operating profit was $331 million, and the tax rate was 18.5%. So it's $331 million times one minus 18.5% or 331 times 0.815, which would get us $269.8 million.